And I've got to have honey for my tea, of course. So, how's the tea? I mean, the honey. Oh, it's a dark wildflower honey, which is above and beyond the little squeeze packets that everyone wants to throw at your table. Like the honey. Greeks are known for honey because it's in their desserts. Oh, wait till you have your Greek yogurt. See, when I eat Greek I'm yogurt, not a big yogurt person, but their Greek yogurt dessert my is yogurt amazing. Maybe a spoonful of yogurt and like ten spoonfuls of honey. I'm sorry. How's everything? How's it going? Amazing, as usual. We're just recording, talking about the food, my favorite restaurant. <laughs> yeah, they don't cut corners here, so even the honey is amazing, the bread's amazing. The olive oil is amazing. What were you saying? We have Mediterranean sea salt too on the table. This is this is my corner. They always see me. In. I eat here a lot. Wait till you see the sea bass. It's pretty amazing. Checking to see if the the chef is here. Chef Mario. He's really nice. What else? Oh, we've got limes in our Oh yeah, we ordered octopus. Octopus is my number one. Well, I like calamari too, so really good. Right, but this is grilled octopus. Octopus is incredible. And I'm not usually like grilled octopus, but this is the only place that really The countries that do it are, are Korea. The Koreans are intensely freakish with octopus. Uh, he can say that because he's half Korean. And, well, they eat it live. Koreans eat live octopus, and then what? Yes, of course, yeah. And then, uh, of course, the Greeks, is that a survival thing? The Mediterranean. Are we gonna eat live octopus? We're gonna try it. We're gonna oh, here, here, it, here it is. I think. No, this is something else. Oh, this is a different salad. They changed it, kind of, huh? Yeah, we changed the salad up a little bit. This is really like a uh, okay. uh, caramelized um, walnuts mm -hmm. and uh, a little crostini with uh, whipped um, uh, manuri cheese. Mm -hmm. So oh, yummy. Can get you a fresh plate here. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, try it, chef. They've got apples. What do you think? It looks like special Braeburn apples too. <laughs> Which adds to the let's see. No, those are Fuji's. It's a Fuji apple. Of course, my favorite apple. Thank you. This is toasty stuff. Great dressing. I make these too. I use a variety of this. I do these in a sheet pan in the oven. Mm -hmm, different. They're spiced. Oh. It's got mm. it's a citrus vinaigrette. I think there's hummus in this. No, it's cheese. Like a cheese spread. I can't really see it. I gotta find my camera. Hey, John! They changed the salad. It's amazing, though. Yes, yeah, they, we they actually recently changed a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. The beats are different now, too. And our handsome, do you, do you mind if we record you? Yeah. Our handsome bartender. <laughs> uh, the grilled octopus. Enjoy while it's hot. All right, here's the grilled octopus. All right. Try it, try it. It's like a feta. Oh, my God. I'd show you, but... Juicy. Oh. It's probably the finest cooked octopus I've had from the restaurant. It's completely tender. It's the best grilled octopus I've ever had. I'm not usually a big fan of grilled octopus. Everything, all meat should be done on the food. And that's what they do here. We have to come back when the chef's here, my favorite chef. I don't see him. Yummy? How's the salad? So we have caramelized walnuts. Walnuts. The arugula's got a vinaigrette, like a Mediterranean, like citrus vinaigrette. Okay. That has honey mm. in it. I was, was going to say, it's a, a really right. sweet. It balances the flavor with the acids, the oils. You add honey to it. 
That's a, that's a special trick. And it's got seats? No, it doesn't have any seats. What else is in it? What's this bit right there? That's a, some citrus. Mm. It's not sour at all. Usually citrus salad dressings are like sour. This is really sweet. Balancing is the key to everything in cuisine. Things are too acidic or too sweet or too sour, too salty. Alright, let me take, put the camera down so I can eat. Alright. Be back when the sea bass and lamb gets here.